various ways of, of um, getting this to focus is to have it on autofocus and you'll have the screen bar of the screen square with AF underneath and you just tap it and it usually focuses. Now with this um, you're relying on the camera to focus for you. It's not a constant thing, it won't constantly focus, it'll just focus when you tap can be okay for photographs but as a videographer um, I find that this drifts especially if I'm moving in and out and distances are changing so it's not really it's not really uh, good for me. Another way of doing this is to uh, another way of stopping the drifting to making sure that everything is in full manual. You've got the S and the A mode which controls the shutter or aperture and all the other settings will correct themselves according to the lightness or brightness. But if you have it in full manual you you'll ensure basically the um, settings won't drift and it won't change. Um, at the moment, because I'm indoors, it's fairly dark in here so I've got the ISO pretty much high, um, but that's okay. There's another way of helping you with some guidelines when you're going into a full manual mode. You want to go into general settings which is usually those three dots at the bottom there and then you go into peak focus threshold which, will, which I like to use at 70 or 80 percent and you'll see the red lines which give you a gist that most things in the picture will, is in focus and from there on the dial on the right is basically infinity and you can have it adjusted to how you like it which is great but you're losing one hand to control the camera when you're doing this I actually prefer the shortcut of doing this by using the um, C1 button holding it down using the left dial to adjust accordingly, which is great. There's another way, which is for me is hit and miss. You go into the calibration tool, you go into menu and the spanner, you'll see the calibration tool, and from there on, uh, you just hit calibration, you just type on, tap on, and it should get things in focus. you press infinity it should go in focus but for me that's hit and miss and people say that the calibration drifts as well so I prefer to go in full manual have things on f8 shutter at 50 for 24 frames a second and I so as low as I can, but like I said, it's stuck up high because it's a dark room and I'm filming virtually with no lights. Um, the other shortcut is to, when you've got a zoom lens anyway, is to press C2 and zoom in. using C1 again with the left dial just to calibrate make sure the red lines appear if you've got it on peak focus mode and then you can zoom out to whatever focal length 
you'd like. I usually have it out wide when I start off and then zoom in to any particular point of interest. I normally don't have the um, uh, camera settings up because after I've got it how I like it, I, I press it again and I'm usually out. I do like the uh, histogram sometimes, it gives me an idea of the exposure. Sometimes Having this in the background helps me to figure out if I need to open my aperture or compensate for the brightness. And it's not usually the case because I've got an ND filter which is an ND8 and it gives me the correct brightness uh, for normal English weather. Oh, and the screens. People can't see their screens properly in the brightness of day, so what I normally do is get a hood like this, stick it behind the iPad, and I get at least some covering and it reduces glare into the screen so I can see it properly. And normally, when I'm doing this, if it's too glary, I'll make sure my camera is settings sorted before I take off. So I'll make sure that in, in this case that I have the aperture of f8, shutter 15, ISO as low as I can. And then um, I just find adjusting the, uh, the with the shortcuts. And there's other features on this, like the manual focus assist, which is supposed to zoom in when as you focus. It's hit and miss with this um, new firmware, but that usually helps. Over exposure warning, I usually have on. And uh, when I do focusing, I try not to have any colour. Because when you do, I don't know if you can see now, I've got no colour at the moment. When I put it on D log, it's less contrasty, which means it's, it's harder to see those lines. Stick it in the manual, and then you can see them. But um, that's a preference. Most people prefer to have D log because they want to correct it in post. Uh, for me, I, I'm not really particularly bothered. Uh, there's other features, such as style, which I have in customs. As you can see, it's sharpness is at plus one, and plus one and negative one. So, make that as you will. Otherwise, these are my settings and this is how I prefer to have them. And I hope that give, this gives you an idea of, of how to have your settings for your camera. Anyway, see you next time.